Let's talk about modifiability for a bit. Now, we know that change is inevitable. Um, it, it happens in the best of families. Um, but the aim of modifiability is to increase the ability to change while minimizing the impact and the cost of changing. So we want to be able to change things on demand without an excessive cost. This is because, as I said, all systems have this horrible habit of once you've got them in, in um, working, there's some very good reason why something has to change about it. Right? No matter how well designed the software is, somebody will want to change it somehow. So how do you deal with this? Well, the, the tactics are to localize the changes. Right? The, to do that, um, you keep things as modular as possible. You make each modular semantically coherent so that um, a, a change is reasonably self-contained. Now, that's fabulous if you happen to have built it the way that changes will fit into that. Um, and in many ways, you, you think about it, you design something so that you think the changes are localized and you hope that the changes will, in fact, be localized. However, when you do that, um, uh, there will inevitably come a circumstance where changes spread across a number of them. So, um, the other thing you can do is you can anticipate uh, expected changes and you, you think, well, how can I anticipate changes when I don't know what they're likely to be? Well, it's a bit like risk management. You've got, I don't know, 20 or 40 years of history of uh, software development or software systems uh, available. You've got a similar amount of history, if not more, about how business changed and, and the world changed. So just have a look at how systems have changed in the past. How have that type of system changed in the past? Is that likely to happen to this system? So just, if, and, and pick out the most likely things and think, well, let's assume that's going to happen and see what effect that has on the design. Tactics for modifiability. I was trying to get a good picture to illustrate uh, the tactics for modifiability, which is largely keep things modular. And so you get the, uh, the, the um, shipping container houses there. It modules, standard module, and people are adapting them to all sorts of purposes. So for modifiability, you localize changes, you generalize the module, and you make it small, single purpose, and easy to modify. And that seems to be um, about as, as good as you can do with modifiability. The overall lesson is to make the whole thing as modular as you can. The large um, uh, monolithic systems were um, not only difficult to change because you had to change so much and deploy so much, but changes tended to be spread all the way through them. So um, we, we uh, try to localize the, the effect of things. Now modifiability uh, interferes with uh, performance usually because the smaller modules are, are, um, usually require some communication between them and that's pretty expensive. And modifiability also can interfere with security simply because there's lots more, um, lots more um, points of entry. 